Um, and the last thing is, yeah, baby Abel. I, I wanted to show you guys some pictures, but I didn't know whether the pictures would be appropriate. So maybe I'll just put a blog post up and you guys can see the pictures later. Um, but now everything went really well. Uh, Elizabeth and I were joking that um, this pregnancy has been the smoothest so far in terms of um, just the, the pregnancy in general, her health. She, she didn't get any varicose veins, no morning sickness, um, and no other complications that women have. Um, and even the labor went really well. So I'll show you guys some pictures a bit um, on the blog a bit later. The, the, lab the labor went really well and it was only about three hours or so. Um, and she birthed upstairs and even the placenta came out really well as well. Um, and then what, the reason why we had to transfer to the hospital is because when they were checking the placenta, it wasn't complete. So they didn't know whether or not it was like a heart-shaped placenta or whether there was still some placenta stuck in her. And then when she continued to bleed, then they decided to transfer and then they had to um, sort of clean out her uterus under general anaesthetic. So um, yeah, it was all right, but she, she, she recovered really quickly. And it was funny because um, the, the midwives were saying the whole time, oh, you know, you, you lost so much blood, we were surprised that you, you didn't faint at any time during the, the labor. And they attribute it just to the fact that we eat a lot, like a lot of red meat and she takes a lot of iron supplements and things like that. So she had a lot of um, um, iron stores. So she, she, she felt really good even up until afterwards. And then um, she recovered quite well. But it was quite funny because during the birth, um, when, when, she, when she actually gave birth, she was sort of like leaning over a table like this, right? So she was standing up and then that's how she gave birth. And I was like behind her, like ready to catch the baby, right? <laughs> so, so I was behind her, like re ready to catch the baby. And then when the baby came out, the, the umbilical cord actually had a rupture in it. So when the baby came out, all this blood out of the umbilical cord just sort of went all over me. And I caught the baby and then, and then I was trying to like maneuver him like around. And then like, I dropped him on the floor. <laughs> so he had a bit of a fall, but um, not, nothing too major. <laughs> And um, yeah, and then, and, then, and then the trip to the hospital after that for Elizabeth. So I won't show you the photos because that might take a bit of time. But if you're, if you're curious, I can show you guys afterwards if you're curious. 